do you have a franchise quarterback? Well, if I'm going to answer that question, um, you know, like you said, you got to be fair. And I think he's a hell of a player. I think Dak is a hell of a player and he's a great leader on and off the field. Um, but when you talk about, you know, those elite guys that can do it, you know, no matter who's on the field, whether they have a good defense or not, no matter who's at the wide receiver, no matter who's at the tight end, you're talking about the Brady's of the world. You're talking about the Aaron Rodgers occasionally of the world. I just... <laughs> It's hard for me to put him in that same category because he has everything offensively. He has the trio of receivers that are supposedly, you know, top 10 receivers in the league. He had the tight end. Offensive line, it wasn't great, but it wasn't anything as bad as Cincinnati's. And look at what Joe Burrow's been able to do. And it's not like his defense was was god awful because we saw they take the football away better than any team in the National Football League. So the excuses just aren't there. For him to lean back on and it comes back to like you said 248 or 242 in the game left you're that franchise guy you got the contract this is what everything you know quarterbacks dream of putting it like we talked about it with joe Bar putting it on your back putting the team on your shoulders and leading them down the field and he wasn't able to do that and uh this isn't the first opportunity that he's had to be that guy and he wasn't able to come through for the team so do i think he's a hell of a player of course i do do i think he can be that franchise guy i do but we got to see some of the, we got to get some of the dividends back. We got to see some of that return on that. And hopefully they're able to do it moving forward. But right now, I can't put him in that elite category.